Travis Kelsey is one of the best tight ends of all time. He's built an incredible life from winning multiple Super Bowls with the Kansas City Chiefs to even making a staggering $150 million in NFL earnings. With all of that money, he has definitely spent a pretty penny, as he lives an unbelievable lifestyle. Starting out with his insane car collection, Kelsey became the owner of an Aston Martin Vanquish. This vehicle is priced at $300,000. The Vanquish runs off of a V12 engine, generating 565 horsepower, as this is Travis Kelsey's go-to vehicle when going to special events or even driving around the town with Taylor Swift. The next addition to his garage would be his amazing Range Rover, priced in at 60 grand. It provides a very comfy ride for Kelsey while ensuring great style throughout the city, especially when he's on his way to a game since he often takes the Range Rover to Arrowhead Stadium. However, Kelsey's next vehicle is his most expensive car purchase by far. This would be the Rolls-Royce Phantom, which ran him close to $400,000 for this ride. Knowing the quality that Rolls-Royce brings to the table, it was completely worth it. It's a staple to living as a luxurious lifestyle, as Travis Kelsey even gets it detailed when bringing it to Arrowhead occasionally. Kelsey! However, Kelsey likes himself a very classic ride as well, which is why he bought a 1970 408 Stroker convertible for $110,000, as Travis Kelsey was even spotted recently leaving Arrowhead Stadium with Taylor Swift driving this vehicle. I'm taking a video. Ending it with his last vehicle in his garage would be his Mercedes AMG G63, costing him 150 grand. Using a V8 engine and producing 577 horsepower, the G-Wagon provides a unique design while ensuring exceptional performance, as altogether, Travis Kelsey's garage has run him $1.5 million. Despite Kelsey throwing tons of money at his cars, wait until you see his real estate portfolio, as it is nearly 10 times times that amount. His first home is a stellar million dollar estate. This spacious home has seven bedrooms, including a breathtaking master suite, a large swimming pool, and a nearby gazebo with a backyard for many activities. Although security issues began after word of him dating Taylor Swift has starting to rise online, there has been many vehicles trying to drive by and catch a peek of Travis and maybe even Taylor Swift. This has led to Travis having to hire security guards guards to guard the home until he found a more permanent solution. This is why he had to go out and purchase a brand new house in Kansas City, which is a mansion for $6.9 million. Being a part of a gated community means his new mansion comes with another seven bedroom on the span of across 16,000 square feet, housing all of the luxuries you could ever want, from a waterfall in the pool, a tennis court, and even a mini golf course, all while having a home theater two kitchens, and a six-car garage. In other words, dating Taylor Swift has costed Travis Kelsey $6.9 million. And even though Kelsey has these two incredible mansions, he plans on expanding his real estate portfolio in the near future. So we're gonna have to wait and see what he buys next. If you thought his mansions were insane, wait until you see Travis Kelsey's jewelry collection. Worth nearly $700,000, his collection starts off with a unique gold chain for both Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. The two received this after beating Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in a golf tournament. Open it up, gentlemen. Show us what's in there. I know you have a lot of hardware on your trophy cabinet, but... Like, it's nothing like, you know, some gold to... To just, you know what I mean, seal the deal, baby. There you go. Hopefully it fits. The gold bracelet is estimated to be worth $40,000. While it's nice, his two Super Bowl rings, however, are on a completely different level. First being his Super Bowl 54 ring finished with gold and diamonds. His first Super Bowl ring looked amazing. However, the ring for Super Bowl 57 is completely something else. 
totaling over 600 diamonds in one ring, you can even open the top to glance down at a replica of Arrowhead Stadium. There's multiple tributes to the franchise around the outside of it. Super Bowl rings are pretty much priceless due to their limited quantity and being designated one to each player. However, some NFL players have sold their rings in the past for around $100,000 to $200,000 each. This would then lead us in to some watches that Travis Kelsey owns, first being his Rolex, which is valued at $100,000. He also owns the Perpetual Day Date 40 in a Platinum, worth around $65,000. Leaving us off then with his daily wear, which is a Yachtmaster 42, which is in a titanium finish for a rough cost of $35,000. These costly watches are mostly known for their durability, as they are water resistant, an amazing design, and something you would expect nothing less from a premium watch designer. To go with his Unreal watch collection, Kelsey also fit himself with a lot of designer clothing. Even during Kelsey's rookie season, he's always wanted to make a splash by purchasing a pair of Marty McFly high tops an iconic shoe from the hit movie Back to the Future. The shoes were limited in production, resulting in resale value reaching $15,000. Kelsey's always been a major fan of footwear. He's decked out an entire closet of exclusive shoes. He may also be why Patrick Mahomes has the exact same passion for collecting sneakers, considering Patrick Mahomes has also decked out a shoe closet for himself. However, Kelsey's long list of shoes just never stops. He has a a pair of Air Jordans, an OVO collab with 5 karat gold detailing. There's even a pair of Louis Vuitton boots that are worth over $2,000. He even owns a signature pair of Air Jordans in collaboration with Travis Scott for another $1,500. Kelsey even showed up to the AFC Championship game to show off his pregame fit, wearing a capital vest, a Miri jeans, and a pair of Nike Dunks in a cheetah colorway, making his outfit well over $3,000. As once the season was over, he showed up to the premiere of Quarterback wearing a mini suit by Lanvin, worth to be close to around $4,000. As Travis Kelsey reveals, most of expensive suits are around $10,000. This is going from Kelsey's yellow zebra print coat from Celine to a red designer tracksuit and even this geometric pattern black and white suit. His most expensive coat would be the monogrammed Louis Vuitton coat that he brought to his second Super Bowl parade valued at $18,000. Outside of his luxuries, Kelsey's continued to create great side projects to keep him busy, just like his own clothing brand named True Colors, which he models for himself. In 2022, his company made $15 million in revenue. As on top of the clothing brand, his own cereal flavor called Kelsey Crunch has also made him a pretty penny. As Kelsey is stacking his money from the NFL as well as his businesses, he always tries to use his money for good such as the time that he donated to charities such as Braden's Hope and Operation Breakthrough, in hopes of helping families going through tough times. Kelsey wants to better the world as much as he can from his prestigious NFL career, as Kelsey is one of the greatest to ever do it. Throughout his career, he has already gained 850 receptions, 10,600 yards, alongside 72 touchdowns. It's important to note Kelsey was also the fastest tight end to ever reach 10,000 in career yards. He's also been nominated as a first team all pro four times. Not to mention the outstanding performance he had versus the Eagles in the Super Bowl, where he would catch six receptions for 81 yards and a touchdown, ultimately helping the Chiefs massively secure another championship. Hey Chiefs Kingdom, this was the best season of my life. I owe it to you guys, I owe it to the guys on this stage, I owe it to everybody in Chiefs Kingdom. Everybody's asking this is a dynasty. It's been a dynasty. Y'all just ain't noticed until now.